Hello, welcome to the Chris Evans Short Story Competition. My name is Anthony Horowitz. I'm the author of the Alex Ryder series of spy stories and many other books for young people. I've recently written a book for adults called Sherlock Holmes and I write a lot of television stuff too. And for that reason, I suppose, I am one of the judges in this competition. Uh, but my job right now is to give anybody who's going to enter the competition a few words of advice for how to get the best out of their story, how perhaps to win uh, uh, this competition. Uh, and I can really only offer you five rules, my five basic rules of how to enter competitions for short stories. And they are as follows. One, write what you want to write. Uh, don't write what you think is going to win. If you write just simply to win the competition, it's just not going to work. You've just got to believe in everything you're writing, in every word, in every emotion, in every character. So that's the first piece of advice. Remember, you've only got 500 words. So make every single one of those words count. From the very first one, that first line, when you're a judge, you can tell before you get to the end of the first sentence if this is a story that's really worth reading. That doesn't mean jumping out and grabbing the judge by the throat, but it means being interesting and beguiling and attracting you into the story from the very start. And the title too. Title's very important. Give it some good thought. Uh, the third uh, advice I would give you is to think about what you're going to write before you sit down and write it. A few minutes just... Thinking, structuring, doodling on a page, wondering what you're going to do will really, really help you when you come to write the whole story. The fourth piece of advice, you're in control. If you're writing about your family, it's how you want to see them, how you want to describe them in the manner that makes you smile. You may write something that is funny. Very few stories actually make people smile. And if you do make the judges smile, it may well help you. You may want to be sad. You may want to be horrific. I wouldn't put blood in if I were you. Often it doesn't work. But nonetheless, it's your story. You're in control. Never forget it. Finally, and I think perhaps the most important piece of advice of all, enjoy doing this. I always find if you're not enjoying your writing, something has gone wrong. And I never sit down and write at my desk unless I'm really in the mood for it. So enjoy what you're doing. Don't worry about the competition. Competitions are weird things anyway. The wrong person nearly always wins. That doesn't matter. What matters is that you do the best you can, you enjoy the piece, and you go in and, and, and know that you should win. Uh, and with all that in mind, all I can do is just say good luck, have fun.